hi everyone uh, welcome to this uh, uh, power platform uh, remix event and uh, thanks nandeep for uh, providing this opportunity and uh, so i don't have zero i will say at almost zero slides and i will try to give some kind of knowledge related to the fabric and the uh, combination of the power platform related so till that time i will switch off my camera and i will share my screen and uh, uh, provide you the insights about the fabric and how we can interact with the power platform yeah okay so let me share my screen <laughs> so uh, the main important thing here was uh, we have to have pre mandatory uh, thing that is uh, you, you should have the fabric uh, license uh, fabric environment that is present as of now uh, see um, you can directly register it with your uh, uh, tenant that is um, with personal email ids you may not uh, register for the trial, uh, trial account but if you have in domain specific uh, email ids then you can register for it okay and uh, you will see this 45 days uh, left this one but eventually you will get uh, more access uh, more number of days and as of now this is still in uh, the preview only and all these features are in preview we did not we do not have any uh, general uh, availability okay so what is so mostly just i will give some introduction about this particular fabric what is there so most of the people who are in the azure uh, space they might uh, know about uh, the uh, azure uh, data factory and also the people who are uh, working with uh, the uh, business intelligence analytics you know about the power bi and the people who have who are working on uh, the on the areas of the data engineering data engineering and the data science those all uh, the people till before this fabric introduction everybody is using their own uh, uh, ides or uh, their own of uh, uh, particular uh, spaces tenant spaces to do it but with the introduction of this particular data factory uh, one can use all the things one here okay so if you observe right this data factory uh, has the data actually will the data engineering so the engineering will be having it in the notebook environment and uh, all these things the data factory is nothing but the azure data factory that we have it adf pipelines that are present those all things come and sit here in the data factory and coming to the data science we do have the experiment ml models the data science people are doing who can be using the additionally we have also this data warehouse which is the game changer like uh, we do have the alternatives uh, that alternative products and the, the technologies that are present to have the warehouse but with respect to the microsoft right you can use uh, this one mostly this uh, snowflake and also the sql db and the cosmos db there are some other industry solutions that are present and power bi and the real time intelligence so this is whatever the kql language that we use it uh, in the power bi the same thing we will be using it the real time uh, intelligence as well i am saying this is the real time intelligence uh, is mostly used uh, uh, for tracking the insights uh, live okay live tracking all the things so to cut cut down the long story short this is the data factory where you can use it <coughs> and uh, just I'll give some introduction here, like uh, the how we are going to. We have the one leg, the data hub that is present, and the workspaces also that is present. The data work that is present, real time hub, and the deployment pipelines. You can perform the deployment pipelines. You can have the real time analysis of the data, and also you can perform all uh, the kind of storing mechanism from uh, the SQL DB to uh, any uh, data warehouse. Okay, so. Here, some basic stuff that is present, like in the data factory, we have the workspace is present. On the top of the workspace, we can use uh, uh, the notebooks, and inside the notebooks, we can uh, okay. Workspace workspace is uh, required. Inside the workspace, we can have the lake lake house. Inside the lake house, we can have a notebook, or a notebook we can uh, directly use it. So anybody wanted to start it right, they can start it both with uh, the notebook or the uh, lake house. So here, um, if you observe here, we do have the different types of things that are present, like the 
event house, lake house, and the warehouse that are present, like uh, the spark definition report. All these also that is present. Data flow Gen 2 is also present where we will be specifically using it uh, for uh, the ETL process, like uh, extract, transform, load, all these things. These are all uh, the people who have worked on uh, the issue data factory. They are eventually know about uh, these uh, details. Okay, so anything that uh, will be uh, storing here this is the monitor and workspaces if you observe this is my workspace that is uh, present if i want i can give you this uh, one or i can also import any particular notebook uh, uh, from the namespace okay so if you observe we can browse the respective workspaces that are present and uh, so I'll go with this particular no workspace inside my workspace. I do have the lake house and the notebooks that are uh, present. So if you go but one to this particular lake house. So a lake house can have uh, the different uh, uh, details that are uh, present and uh, any lake house have one particular SQL and analytics endpoint. So this was the endpoint that we are going to use in the power platform uh, in the power apps uh, for connecting into this particular lake house. So just this particular connection stick, we are going to use it and the same connection string you can use it if you are using any power PI uh, desktop as well. So if you observe, this was uh, the table that I have uh, uh, created. Okay, so how this is being done is uh, just uh, I'll create an I'll create an, uh, a new notebook here. If you click on this one, okay. So here, right? Uh, so in data engineering and also the data science most of the people will use this uh, a spark that is pi spark 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 sql and spark r these are all the four components there was another component important component that are present in spark that is the spark with the java so for this uh, one right what i am going to do here was i am going to use this uh, spark sql okay so for that what i am going to do right just i am going to create uh, a table So employee ID, which is integer. <laughs> and uh, So this is how uh, you can uh, simply do it. So first we have to connect to a new standard session. Anybody who know about this uh, one, they can easily uh, know about it. Let us try to run this one. You can click on this one. <clears throat> okay, so if you observe, uh, this uh, table is already existing. So let me open here. 
so if you observe uh, this particular table has been created then enable uh, the details so now i can uh, clear this one i am trying to use is insert into uh, employee the values id and uh, name in the city so you have one pune New York. So just I am I have created this table. okay so now what i am going to do here so just i have created this one and now i am just going to execute this one what is the data that is present here okay so this is how simply right uh, we can uh, create any particular data so the kind of language that we are using is uh, very much similar to the sql and no sql like that so you can uh, simply uh, use that one this is how a simple crud operations that you can uh, perform like the creation and uh, uh, the insertion and the selection of this particular one now so now like in my uh, like house this particular uh, table is uh, present that is the employee and uh, the test that is uh, present so now uh, so i have created the workspace and inside the workspace i have created the lake house inside the lake house just i have created one particular uh, table and i have in included inserted this particular uh, uh, table here so if i wanted to see uh, the kind of uh, report that is present then i can also get that particular uh, one so now if i go to this power bi and um, i'll go to this sample workspace so in the same power bi also i can uh, perform the uh, same particular uh, features so now coming to the actual part of uh, this uh, um, session is how many ways that we can uh, access this particular uh, data into our uh, power platform so the main uh, thing was like if you observe right i can click uh, i can simply click come to this power bi and uh, click on this uh, create app so i will say that uh, this is an sample app and um, i can provide all this uh, respective details so if i open this uh, one so this is uh, the app uh, that i have it
so now coming back to here so this is how uh, from a workspace that you can uh, perform any particular uh, sample uh, data this is present in the sample workspace now for our uh, workspace for our uh, lake house we will have these uh, particular uh, details that are present okay let me go back to here home you click on this one you will get uh, the kind of settings here you will have you will find this uh, sql uh, endpoint so this one you can uh, take it now coming back to this uh, power apps so three ways uh, that you can uh, perform this one uh, one is through the tables like we can click on this new table and create a virtual table and you can select this sql server and you can provide the server name so if you observe right uh, just i have created an employee i'll click on this particular employee so till now in this particular environment i don't have any uh, table with this employee now i'm going to create lex okay id is the primary key and the name is this one and the city is the city so just i am uh, finishing it so what is that external data source is my uh, server that is where <clears throat> in my uh, fabric in my lake house this is the dbo in this particular dbo i am select i have selected this employee now i am clicking on the finish <laughs> so this is how into the power platform through a virtual table you can access any particular data factory lake house uh, database uh, related table so at the back end what was happening in my power platform uh, in the power apps like a virtual table is getting created <clears throat> so if you observe this is the uh, table that got uh, created okay so if you observe right this was been created as a last uh, 15 seconds ago and uh, just if you and search it this is is an employee did you see this i have created right earlier in our uh, uh, data fabric in the lake in during the creation of this particular table i have created these details so like mark new york and id peter hyderabad and ram pune and one okay so this is one of the way that you can uh, fetch that particular data from uh, Uh, your external c so this was the scenario like from external systems if you wanted to create any particular uh, table then uh, simply you can use it so here in this particular demo what i said is we simply used that uh, the the sql endpoint and uh, came to here and used that in the form of an virtual table and i created this. if you see observe right this is not a data was table this is an virtual table which got uh, created with the help of uh, the external source so this was the first way of uh, you can uh, use this one now let us go with uh, the next way of doing it is uh, start uh, with a page design what i am going to write just i am going to uh create a gallery connected to an external data what i would say right just i am going to give you the from sql
so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to select this dbo and i click on this connect so if you observe right uh, earlier it was an uh, data source where i have simply uh, read the data from the fabric uh, data source that is the lake house inside that inside a lake house and db inside the db uh, dbo is the dbo is the database and the table name so now what i am going to do right just i am trying to create an app without uh, having any uh, configured data source so now what i am going to do here was in the sql server just i have selected the server name and the dbo what i am going to do right just i have the different tables that are present what i am going to do right just i am going to click on this uh, particular app that is uh, nothing but the employee let us see whether an app is being getting uh, created or not So what was happening was my app was get got connected to the fabric DBO data uh, base table that is the employee. So it is uh, the maker portal which is which what how it was doing based upon uh, the data that we are having it. It is uh, it has created me and uh, readily app. If you observe right, this is available directly. If you observe, I have this New York. So let me zoom out a bit. So if you observe, right, this is my employee table, and uh, these are my uh, details. If I go back and uh, see it, I can click on this edit like that. So this is how uh, we can easily do that one. And now, so this was the second way, like how you can uh, directly, uh, how you can directly uh, get this particular data based upon the data hours, uh, based upon the uh, data fabric table that is uh, present, which I inside the data uh, fabric. So. So what I'm going to see it is employee app. I'm going to save it. So this is the second way of uh, doing connecting to this one. So I'm going to click on that one. Yes, I am clicking on Dave. So that that was the second way of doing it. Now let's if I go to this one, right? We can go with the, the our data flows. So if I click on this data flows. I'll click on this uh, new data flow. Uh, so morning it does not work out let me try it out if it, if it can uh, work it <clears throat> so i'm going to click on this sql server database i will give the name as dbo i'll click on next Fingers crossed. Right. So I got my table that is employee. So I will be selecting this one. If you observe, I have this uh, particular data that is present. I will click on uh, this transform data. So now what I'm going to do, right? Just I wanted to, I will, I will add one uh, column. 
city number contact number yeah i'll keep it as address i'll give that uh, text i'll click on okay okay so what i'm going to do here was uh, just what i will do is insert column i'll click on this one so this was the derived column like okay so name and city i have uh, manipulated it now i'm going to uh, map this particular table so what i will do right just i will uh, select the existing table okay so i will keep it as in line. So a data flow is been uh, running here. I'll see if everything is fine, then uh, it should uh, work. Otherwise I will get one particular error. So it's fingers crossed. So any doubts you see it, uh, Nandip? Yeah, as of now, no. Uh, no questions in the chat, but if in case someone has got, please feel free. Sure, sure. Yeah. So till now, I have explained to you three ways of using it in the Power Platform. The first way is through the virtual table, how you can access the data factory, the component, the table through the SQL endpoint. The second point uh, one is how you can create an uh, app through an external data source. And the third way is by using this uh, uh, data flow. So the publish is in progress. Okay, so it will take uh, some time. What we will do right for the interest of the time, uh, we'll come back here again. So I'll keep and duplicate tab here. Now, uh, we'll click we'll create one app here and a blank app so so if you observe right this uh, this has been uh, published okay so this is this has been saved Okay, so here, right, uh, what I'm going to do was just I'm going to insert one particular gallery. 
so which i will uh, name it as okay so now what i'm going to do it was i'm going to use a connector which is nothing but the sql connector so sql server i'm going to use it and um, we'll see it so now what i'm going to do again is just i will give that connection string i'll click on this connect so if you observe uh, by using this particular connector i have selected uh, uh, so this was the the next way of uh, connecting it so i will select this uh, uh, connector through this connector this was sql connector which i have used in the power platform in the form of the data this time clicking on the connect abu darugad yep so now i could select it now if you observe right in my app this data verse is present i'll select the data verse as uh, uh, the employee as that uh, details so so if i run this one if you observe right these are the details that i have got it through the connector into an app so the first way of using it uh, was through the virtual uh, table second way was directly going into the table where uh, we have given directly during the design time and the third way was uh, by using uh, the data flows uh, and uh, create get this particular access this particular table and transform that uh, data uh, table and to add another column and uh, copy that respect to uh, data that is present in that uh, the fabric uh, table into a new table and create it into the data verse and the fourth way is uh, uh, by taking a plain app and then by using the connectors uh, to connect to these uh, details uh, and get this uh, one okay so this is not been if you observe right uh, these are the uh, this is the table i have created uh, in this particular session and uh, i i could uh, access this particular uh, table uh, on the first hand so i'll uh, save this one so once i save it just i will uh, publish okay so if we go and see it here in this particular table let us search uh, if you observe the first time whenever i have created this one employee it is this one and next one is the employee underscore sample one is the one that it got uh, created so if we open and see this particular data we'll see so we have this uh, respective data that is present so let us do one thing we'll create okay you see address is also present i'll click on this one do you see this mark and by peter hydebed and ram pune this is what uh, we have created it uh, through this uh, data flow okay so this particular data flow that uh, we have created so in this way right we have used the virtual table and we have used the data flows and we have used the direct connectors in the power apps now let us go to the power automate and uh, see it how we can uh, connect it so let us go to here close <clears throat> 
uh okay i see this uh, one whether the end users who are accessing the data and powers need a premium license yes if you observe right there was a diamond uh, symbol that is present which is nothing but the premium character you should have it but the license cost is very much minimal that is per user license it cost around uh, 10 dollars like that if you take it for indian rupees it is uh, uh, it cost you around uh, less than uh, uh, two to three thousand and if we have more data which we will be faster in the performance you see right so if you have uh, the details that are present in uh, the data warehouse right uh, uh, so mostly these power apps has been designed to handle uh, the lightweight uh, applications okay but if you have a small uh, data where uh, if you just you wanted to quickly create any particular app then you can do it but um, if you have large amount of data just you wanted to perform some kind of manipulations with the external systems and all simply you can use it because uh, as this power app if your requirement is not uh, the power app then if you wanted to go for any um, the crm classic version then dynamic crm then you can uh, simply use it like that hope i have answered uh, your question okay so basically right the concept of huge data like that it everything uh, depends upon the fabric that you are using mostly right data factory or in the fabric how we are using is mostly for uh, the handling the kind of uh, data kind of things but these are the apps perspective okay so now what i am going to do here was uh, just i will be creating an instant cloud flow uh, this is uh, the uh, sample uh, employee okay so i'll click on this uh, manually trigger a flow i'll click on create so i'll uh, select the sql server as the table <clears throat> So if you observe right, these are all the different triggers that are present. Uh, what I'm going to do here right, uh, is uh, just, I'm going to get the get row V2. So now what I'm going to do here was, um, so I'll be going to uh, select this uh, particular one. Let us see with the get row if we can uh, get the details. So let us take it. database was uh, DP pool. So what I'll give, I'll give this one. So when coming to the reporting working in Fabric, right? Simply you have the Power BI spaces, right? You simply use this uh, Power BI and uh, you can uh, use that uh, one. So 
you can open the sample power bi the how the way how you are using any um okay how you are using any power bi report right the same one which will have which will work here so i will open here the power bi one and i can use this uh, sample workspace so going to the power bi and if you observe this is the sample power bi report is there uh, simply you can uh, get that uh, details of it this is a uh, normal uh, uh, one that is uh, present like if you wanted to click on this new report then uh, what i'll be going to do right just i am going to oh, click on the excel you can give that uh, particular uh, share point that is present and uh, you can perform all the respective details that are present so coming to here right uh, so this power automate flow that i have been written so it has uh, some still uh, it has some issue to connecting okay so in long story short we can easily uh, get the respective details of any power uh, uh okay of any data fabric uh, or the microsoft fabric related uh, table data into our uh, power platform so if you have any questions or doubts right you can feel free to uh, pose your uh, post your questions here i can answer them